day YouTube, my name is Tristan. Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. Today we're going to be looking around this 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander LS seven seater two wheel drive. Let's check it out. There's plenty of features on these cars. I've looked at a couple today and I've got to say they are feature packed. So we'll start with a walk around, we'll check out the boot space. We'll jump inside, we'll try on the size, and then we'll look at all the features in the driver's seat. So, let's get to it. So here we have one of our ex-demonstrator cars. This one has 8,000 kilometers on the clock. Uh, it's in a lovely shade of gun metallic grey. Gotta say, I love this colour. I've had a handful of cars in gun metal grey, and I gotta say, I love them love the color very easy to look after always looks clean and when it's dirty it still looks clean so what more could you want you don't have to wash it all the time so in the front it's an ex-demonstrator so it's a brand new car driven uh, by sales staff or managers there is no dents or scratches on the bonnet, on the front bumper. We've got projector headlamps in the front, uh, daytime running lights, fog lights. Around to the side, we have 18 inch black and brushed silver alloys with Toyo tires. Again, 8,000 kilometers. These are barely run in. No marks or stone chips or scratches or shopping trolley dints up the side of the car at all. Nothing on the roof. You'll notice in the windscreen there is the rain sensing wipers sensor built in. We've got tinted privacy glass in the back windows. Just like the front wheel, there are no chips or scrapes on the wheels. Around to the back, we have reverse parking sensors and a reverse parking camera. With a lovely silver stone guard under the back. Over to the driver's side now. There is a very small chip just there. You'd have to have Hawkeyes to find that one. But there is one there. That's in the driver's side rear quarter. No marks on the wheels. No marks or chips in the doors. Uh, we do have a moth on the car. That is not a chip, guys. That is a moth. Uh, and no scratches or scrapes on the driver's front wheel. Let's check out the entry points, shall we? The sill plates, the door trims, make sure there's no scuffs or scrapes. Nothing here, that looks pretty sweet. Nothing on the sill plate either. A very minor scuff on the glove box no stains or marks or wear marks on the seats in the back what do we have nope that's just a bit of dust so no scuff marks there uh, a little bit there that's where people can climb into the back to access the seven seats or the two extra ones in the back. A little mark there, probably somebody may have tried on their baby seat, child car seat. Uh, there's no kick marks or scrapes or scratches on the back of the seat trim. A little bit of dirt or dust on there. Very, very light scratching. No stains on the seats. Let's take a look in the boot. A 
Beautiful, look at all that space. Now we have three child anchor points, cup holders. There's also a little map pocket or something you can store your devices in. You can even charge your devices here. There is a 12 volt power outlet just there. Under the false floor there is some storage and also your cargo blind, which is the part that goes across your cargo area and it has a retractable cover to stop people checking out your groceries or looking at the goods that you're carrying around. You might be a sales rep or you might just have gone into the shops and bought some new appliances. You don't want everyone to see what's in the back of the car, so you cover that over with the cargo blind. You can pull up two extra seats if ever you need them. Uh, they're all leather as well, and you can adjust the space of those middle row seats to allow for more leg room, depending on the size of the occupant in the rear. Okay, driver's side rear door, no scuffs or scrapes either. We do have the factory option rubber floor mats. These ones are wet weather safe or sporting or adventure safe. You don't want to be carrying all the mud and stuff that you've been outdoor adventuring on the weekend into your carpet so you put that on the rubber mats you can take them out hose them off nice and clean good if you've got kids or pets as well one less thing to worry about just hose it down driver's side door card no kicks no scuffs but down on the seal plate there's a few very light scuff marks Nothing to be alarmed at. Time to check out the middle row passenger space. As you can see, I tower over the Outlander. So let's dive in there. In we go. We'll pop up the headrest there. Nice. Armrest is in a great position. Same with the center armrest. We also have cup holders. I really, really love the Alcantara or Alcantara or however you'd like to say it, faux suede or suede trim on the middle of the seats. I like it, nice and snug. Uh, you've also got the leather bolsters on the side, which is great, nice and soft leather. It's not gonna scratch or tear easily. It's very flexible, very nice. We also have air vents in the back and a couple of USB charging ports down there. So there's two of those. Hopefully that picks up on the camera. Just in case that didn't work, we'll show you again. Two USB ports as well as air vents, which you can direct around to keep everyone in the middle row nice and comfortable. Look at all that space over into the driver and passenger area. Very comfortable. We're gonna check that out in just a moment. Look at this visibility all the way around. Nice big windows, nice big quarter windows, side windows, front window. Very important when you're driving an SUV is your visibility. And this is like driving a convertible. You can see all the way around uh, without the wind messing up your hair. So it's beautiful. So I've jumped over into the driver's seat. Let's close the door. Instantly blocks out all of the sound from the busy road right beside where we're filming. Uh, we have automatic one touch down power windows all the way around, central locking, remote for the windows, foldable mirrors and electric mirrors. A little bit further down we have forward collision warning, lane departure warning and your parking sensors. Just above that we've got traction control 
adjustable headlights. This feature is great if you've got a lot of weight and cargo in the rear. The back of the car may tend to dip down, so you'll need to adjust your headlights, point them out of the trees and back down to the road. Or if you're towing a trailer with something very heavy on there, uh, you can adjust your headlight focal point. Time to switch the engine on, push button start, foot on the brake. It's telling me to put my seatbelt on. Very, very safe. Now, on the steering wheel, just in front of that we have the indicator. On the indicator is your headlights. It also has automatic headlights, come on when it gets dark, and uh, auto high beam. Over to the other side, we have rain sensing wipers and all of your controls, even for the rear wiper. Steering wheel controls are your radar cruise control. That will keep an eye on the vehicle in front of you and make sure that you keep a safe distance. You can adjust that um, to be on their bumper, nice and safe, or way back in the distance. Many different adjustments there with the radar cruise control. The rest of your cruise control uh, and speed limiting controls are here. So you can make the car not go past a certain speed or hold a certain speed. All controlled by the push of your thumb. Over to the other side. Pick up, hang up and voice recognition for the Bluetooth. Hands free. Radio controls, volume up and down, station and mode. Mode does AM, FM, CD, auxiliary, digital audio, Bluetooth, audio streaming, you name it. Any type of music you can control from the steering wheel. Moving over to the nice color display, we'll check out media. We've got the radio, home, multimedia settings, phone settings, information. We can check vehicle history that gives you your uh, last trip information, fuel consumption, nice and easy to read, nice big screen, nice and clear. Below that we have dual zone climate control, all at the touch of a button here. You know, a couple might like different temperatures, you can change the temperature between each side of the car. For example, this person could be boiling, so they want it on freezing cold, and this person could be freezing cold, so they want it on boiling. So split down the middle, we've got hot air this side, cold air that side. And anywhere in between, it's quite a hot day, so I'm gonna put that down. Below the sound system, we have another USB. We have an economy mode button. That's gonna save you a lot of fuel. Push that, and it just makes the car drive nice and smooth, not too aggressive. Uh, if you like to put your foot down, you can turn that button off and gives you maximum power, maximum acceleration. Otherwise, leave that on. Save some money, save the planet. 12 volt charger cup holders we've got the electronic park brake and we've also got a nice deep center console I found the cover for the 12 volt outlet so we'll stick that back in so it looks nice everything in its place comes with two sensor keys you just need to leave this in your pocket or in your bag touch the door handle, touch the push button start, and off you go. Just to confirm, the car has 8,166 kilometers on it, which is not many at all, um, barely even run in. This is a ex-demonstrator vehicle. Over to the glove box, there are your log books ready to go. Time to grab a bargain. A near new vehicle in near new condition. 
could be yours today. Well, I hope you enjoyed the walk around of the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander in gunmetal grey. This is an LS seven seater model, X demonstrator with only 8,000 kilometers. If you know someone who's looking for a new SUV, send them to Berwick Mitsubishi. The links will be in the description for our phone number, our address, and also our website. Check out the cars there. Come on down for a test drive. Share the video, like the video, and we'll see you on the next one.